Superman of science, and he loves to play with fire. And the things you do, you can do, if you so desire. Do try this at home with Mr. G. Hello, and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. Do Try This at Home is the show that takes ordinary household items and turns them into something extraordinary. I'm your host, Mr. G, and today I'm going to show you how to make fire out of some very simple items. A couple of C-cell batteries here. I've got a length of wire. I've got some of that wire already stripped here on our plate into its separate strands. This is stranded wire. Let's make a scenario. Let's say that you're hiking out in the middle of the wilderness and it's fall and it's going to get really cold at night you happen to get lost well how are you going to survive when it gets down below freezing you're going to be exposed to the elements and you're probably going to freeze to death unless you can make a fire we'll say you have a flashlight with you we'll say maybe you have a small transistor radio you'll need something to get a source of electricity a couple of batteries and you'll need a length of wire what I'm using here is some just plain old wire that came from an old AC adapter. And if I separate the two strands like that and then break it to a certain length, and if you bend the wire back and forth enough, it will break, you can then strip it and you'll see that it exposes. Now you're not going to have wire strippers, so you're going to have to get good with your teeth. You're going to see that it exposes separate little strands of wire inside of it. So, I've already done that to save us some time, and I've got the separate strands of wire. Now, if we were to take the jacket to a piece of the wire, and take one of our strands and wrap it around, and I wrap the wire around and over and over and over again, it basically makes sort of like a spring. Now, if I compress that together, like this, and continue to wrap, continue to wrap, continue to wrap, We'll have a spring, oops, don't want to wrap it on itself, or what we're going to call our filament. Now that we've got a filament, we could actually make fire. So, here's our filament. There we go. There we go. Now, we're going to need a couple pieces of this wire right here. Oops. Not going so good, not going so good. We're getting it, we're getting it. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but now I've got a filament. Let me bring this in even closer and you can get a better idea of what that looks like. See? It's sort of like a small spring. Now, now that we've got that, I'm going to slide it off of our little piece of wire here very carefully. We keep it oriented like a, a spring. Ah, there we go. Now I've got in my hands a filament. Now, we're going to have to hook this up to our batteries with something. So what we want to do is, we want to take a length of our wire like this, we're going to strip two ends of it, like that, and now we've got two bare ends, okay? On the other end of our wire, actually I'm going to shorten this wire. Now I told you by bending it back and forth very rapidly, you can break it. So let's try to do that. There we go, there's a piece, and bend this one back and forth rapidly, because we're not going to have scissors out in the middle of the wilderness, are we? No, of course not. Who would think to bring scissors? There, we got two of them. Now we're going to strip the other end. There. We're going to move this plate aside for a second. Now, I've got my little spring. Whoops. It's very small. My little filament, let's zoom in again so you can see that closer. Here's our filament. Now, what I'm going to do with our filament is I'm going to attach it to these two lengths of wire. But first, I'm going to wrap these wires, twist them together so that we have got some stability, so that we've got a platform to work with. So I'm going to take my wires and twist them together like that. Now, at this end, I'm going to hook one end of our filament to one of the wires that I've stripped back. It's hard to work with. It's very, very thin wire. 
but I'll get it eventually. So I'm going to twist and twist and twist and twist. Now I'm going to take the other end of the filament and I'm going to do the same thing on this part of the wire. I'm going to twist and twist this one so we've got a connection. Now, what will we do next? Well, we've got a filament now suspended at the end of this wire. See that? We'll pull that in close so you can see. Take a look. Here's our filament and it's suspended on our wire. Now, watch this. I'm going to keep us pulled in close so you can see this closely. I'm going to take one of our batteries and I'm going to set it down on top of the wire, like that. Now I'm going to take the other end here and I'm going to attach it like this. And watch what happens to our filament. It begins to glow red, bright red. Now if we take a little bit of paper, fire. Amazing. From a glowing filament, from just a few spare parts to actual fire. You've saved yourself. You can build a roaring bonfire, keep warm, and then the next, when the sun comes out on the next day, you can hike back to civilization. Well, I hope you had a good time on Do Try This at Home. I'm your host, Mr. G, and I just wanted to remind you, please subscribe to my blog, www mindlessmirth.com and also visit www.mrgme.com mrgme.com Again, I'm Mr. G and I hope you had a great time. I'll see you next time right here on Do Try This at Home. Okay, now I'm going to take one of the batteries and I'm going to set it on top of our wire. I'm going to take the other battery, balancing it on top of that battery. I'm going to take and I'm going to put the whole assembly like this, then I'm going to push down on this and watch what happens. Whoops. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Let's say you're out in the wilderness and you hear a cat bell jingling. You done, Coconut? Obviously not. You have an itch? Great. Well, well, you know what you've done? You've shaved yourself. Shaved yourself? I'm thinking I need a shave. That's what I was thinking. <sighs> Out of just a couple of 9-volt batteries and a few spare parts. Wait a minute, no. A couple of C cells. These are not 9 volt batteries. You've made a fire, and you know what? You've saved yourselves from the hungry jackals. Probably not.